Hey everybody, Thrift Store Hacker back again, and today we're taking this old cooler and we're going to turn it into an emergency power box. Now the batteries that I have on this emergency power box are from my old Volvo, and I would probably recommend getting a deep cycle marine battery or a better storage battery, but this is what I had lying around the shop. As you can see here, I mounted a board up here to, since it's a metal lid, I wanted to keep it electronically neutral somewhere so I can mount up things like this charge controller. This charge controller is a 20 amp maximum uh, input charge controller I got off of Amazon for about, I don't know, 10, 12 bucks. But anyway, as you can see, I have it hooked up to the batteries here. The negative lead goes straight down to the uh, negative on the battery pack, and the positive lead goes just before the terminal, and then I put a 20 amp fuse on there for safety and connect it to the positive from there. I cut this board because I noticed there was a lip inside this box here. And it sits a little higher than the battery, so it'll give the batteries clearance and nothing's touching. And then I'll have something to set the inverter and any other things that I have in here on top of. I also left a little slit at the top so the wires can come up through the top. I picked up the solar panel off of Amazon for about 60 bucks. It's a 50 watt, 12 volt panel. And I used a $5 thrift store chair to make a solar panel stand for it. And I just mounted it with a couple of bolts. Uh, it seems to work out pretty good. doesn't blow over in the wind, so I'm happy. The wire from the solar panel actually goes into the drain plug from the cooler, so you don't have to drill any holes or make a mess that way. And it just goes right up into the solar controller here. As you can see, the... Sky is not working out for me today, but it is still charging the battery with minimal sunlight, so I'm probably getting about 20 watts in right now. I'm using a string of lights out in my yard to test out the uh, storage capacity of the box and see how well it's charging. As you can see here on the solar controller, it's staying over 12 volts. You can see the solar panel is providing power to the battery. Battery's about halfway full right now. You can see it just went up to 12.3 there too. So it seems to be charging up the battery and providing power for the string lights. So even in a kind of cloudy day, it still seems to be working out pretty good. So if you live in a place with power problems, this is pretty simple to build. Uh, it's not too expensive, under $300 for all the parts. And you can also use it to power things outside. When you go camping, it'll save you on lantern fuel. And you could do a lot of things with it. Take it down to the lake and power a radio. But all in all, it's a good amount of backup power that's portable. Well, that's all I have for you today. Until next time, build stuff, have fun, be safe, and wear a mask.